Hi guys, it's Bookwatch again. Today I'm gonna read you, not me, my mom's gonna read you because this is her favorite book, The Rainbow Machine, The Oxford Reading Tree. Mom, come on. It was raining, but the sun was shining at the same time. The children looked up and saw a rainbow across the sky. I wonder where the rainbow begins, asked Wolf, and where it ends. In a place far away, there was a lorry. It was a very big lorry because on the back was a very big machine. The machine made rainbows and was called the rainbow machine. There are seven colors in the rainbow. It took seven people to look after the rainbow machine. They cleaned it and polished it and they made sure it worked properly. The rainbow machine had to be ready at any time. Sometimes weeks and weeks went by and the rainbow was not needed. But when the call, call, come, call came, the rainbow makers had to work fast. Off they went in the lorry. While it was going along, the rainbow makers got the machine ready. Then one, two, three, Go! They pressed the button and the rainbow shot out of the machine. When there was a rainbow, everyone stopped to look at it. Children ran to their moms and dads and said, What a beautiful rainbow! Sometimes the rainbow was very bright but sometimes it was quite pale. Often the children ran towards it. They wanted to find the end of it and play in all the colors. But of course, they never could. One of the rainbow makers was a young man called Fred. He was new and he was learning to be a rainbow maker. One day, the other rainbow makers said, Look after the lorry, Fred. We won't be wrong. The lorry was on a double yellow line. Fred saw a traffic warden. Oh no, said Fred. I must move the rainbow machine. So he climbed into the driver's cab and drove away. Fred drove the lorry along the road. This is fun, he said. But I'd better not be too long. He wanted to turn the lorry round, so he drove into a field. Oh, no! The lorry stuck in the mud. The wheels spun round and round, and the lorry sank deeper and deeper. Now what shall I do? thought Fred. Suddenly, there was a door in the field. Biff and Chiff came through it with Wilf, Nadim, and Nina. Biff had the magic key. A new adventure had begun. The children saw that a lorry was stuck in the field. Then they saw Fred. Can you help me? called Fred. Will you push the lorry? The children pushed, but it was no good. The lorry was too big and it was far too heavy. Suddenly, it began to rain even though the sun was shining. On the 
Lori, things began to buzz and flash. Oh no! Said Fred, "A rainbow is needed. This is the rainbow machine. It makes rainbows. You must all help me." The children helped Fred to pull the cover off the rainbow machine. "Wow!" said Biff. "Is that where rainbows come from?" "Yes," said Fred. But I don't know how to work the computer yet. Nadim was good with computers. He looked at the rainbow keyboard. He didn't really know what to do, but he didn't like to tell Fred. "Don't worry, I can work it," he said. "Right," said Fred. "One, two, three." The rainbow machine sent up a rainbow. Hooray! It's working," said Wolf. The rainbow was too bright for them to see it properly, so Fred gave everyone some dark glasses. The children looked up at the rainbow they had made. It didn't look quite right. Fred called to Dim. Are you sure you can use that computer? The rainbow didn't look right. First, it went straight up. Then it went straight along, and then it went straight down. Oh dear! Gasped Nina. It's got straight sides. Everyone stopped to look at the rainbow. Children ran to their moms and dads. "What a funny rainbow!" they said. "It's got straight sides. We've we've never seen one like that before." The rainbow makers were having a cup of coffee. They looked out of the window. Everyone was staring at the sky. Oh no! Said the rainbow makers. What has Fred done? They ran out into the road, but the rainbow machine had gone. Oh no! Said the rainbow makers. Where has Fred gone? In the sky was a broken rainbow. What a funny rainbow! Everyone said. The rainbow changed again. This time, it was twisted, and it was very bright. I like that one," said the little boy. "It looks wonderful." We must find the rainbow machine. Called the rainbow makers. They looked up at the sky. The rainbow had changed again. Oh no! Said one of them. I don't want to look. Back at the rainbow machine, something had gone wrong. Nadim had been too clever. The rainbow was leaking, and all the red was running out. The sky was turning red. Oh no! Said Nadim, "I can't stop the red. Turn the rainbow machine off." Fred turned pale. "I can't turn it off," he said. The rainbow makers found the found the lorry. They were cross with Fred. It will take days to get the sky blue again, they said. The rainbow machine had to bleach the sky. We've never had to do this before, said one of the rainbow makers. I hope it works.
The sky had turned white. The sun wasn't yellow anymore. It's a lot better than a red sky," said one of the rainbow makers. "A red sky makes everyone bad tempered." "We are very sorry," said Nadim. "It was all my fault. Please don't blame Fred." "It's all right," said the rainbow makers. "The sky will soon turn blue again." The suddenly. The magic key began to glow. The sky was blue and the sun was shining. The rainbow isn't really make like made like that, is it? Asked Kipper. You had better go to the end of one and find out, said Nina. The rainbow machine.